Hey team, welcome back to HG Design to Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about crochet, motherhood and everything in between. Today I've got a vlog and I'm going to do the whole sit down traditional vlog with you. And I'm going to go through everything that I've made so far in 2023. And today is June the 13th, it's my brother's birthday, happy birthday. And I thought, seeing as we are past the midway point of the year, that it'd be really good to check in with you, um, give you a little bit of an update where I've been, what I've been up to, and just show you all the good crochet stuff. Now, I have like leveled up my YouTube channel and I've invested in a microphone. You can probably see it here. I've got to remember not to hit it. And also, because I now have a microphone, I don't have to sit right on top of the screen. I can sit further back. Let's see how this goes. I'm really hoping that the sound quality is next level. I love to invest in you lot. Invest in this channel. I love my crochet YouTube channel. I see all the big YouTubers with a microphone and I thought it's about time that I stepped up to that level. So here we are. Shall we dive in to this mammoth pile of crochet? I am gonna just say a couple of things. The weather is crazy hot in the here, here in the UK at the moment. It's like 28 degrees. I'm gonna sneeze. It's like 28 degrees, which for us is really, really warm. I'll try and put the, compa the conversion to Fahrenheit Celsius on the screen really really warm because we don't have air conditioning in our homes and I have shut all the windows and doors so that you cannot hear my noisy neighbours in the garden. It's already warm in here especially with the YouTube lights so let's see how I get on and pollen, hay fever, oh my gosh hay fever is eating at my face. I'm not looking for advice, I'm just letting you know that's why my voice sounds a little bit different than normal. I'm gonna be like this the whole way through. Ah! I have chosen not to take my hay fever tablets whilst Teddy is, while I'm providing milk to Teddy. So it is what it is. And without further ado, that's all the caveats. Let's jump in, shall we? So I hope that you are all tickety-boo. I hope that you've all had plenty of crochet time. And I hope that you've enjoyed my return to YouTube. I have missed you all so, so much. So, 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 so much. And it's so good to sit here and show you all of the things that I've made. Now this is a great big pile. And what I'm gonna do is pull out the finished objects and then do the whips. Yeah, I am. Now, as I show you the projects, I will talk a bit about what's been going on in my life because each one has a story and sort of slots in. Um, I think that would be the best way. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I made that one. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go in with this blanket. Oh wow. This blanket is called Arrival. It is my own pattern. I designed this for my son, Teddy, when I was pregnant with him. I think I was about 37 weeks pregnant when I made his version. Um, and I had him at 40 weeks and two, for anyone that wants to know. He was born in June last year, 2022. We have just celebrated his first birthday. <sighs> Oh, I've got so many things I could say on motherhood, like so many profound, like emotions and insights and reflections, but we'll save that for another day. So I made this blanket. I've just spotted an end that needs weaving in and he used it from day one. It's the blanket that we put on him on the way home. It's the blanket that he's taken the most naps under, in his cot, in his pram. Um, and it's just, it's a simple, a granny square blanket. It's using a double knit yarn, 
you make a load of like a mountain of granny squares and then you join them together using the continuous join as you go method and then it has the signature hddc border which is how i tie in all of the colors that i have used now i made this one which is basically a repeat of teddy's blanket different colors but very similar um in february 2023 because i was like frantically crocheting ready for my photo shoot that i had planned i returned off maternity leave back to the world of hgdc officially in february 2023 so prior to that i was on maternity leave i was soaking in all of the baby stuff um getting used to having a baby to look after getting used to being a mama and just enjoying all of the moments recovering from my pregnancy recovering from my labor and just finding peace and joy in day-to-day -day life then i had nine months of maternity like allowance so to speak i had i was entitled to nine months of uh, maternity allowance i know it differs throughout countries and amounts and again i'm not going into that right now but it ran out in may no february and so i had planned to then return and i decided to do my first photo shoot this is one of the first patterns that i wanted to include i'm going to read one of the reviews that i have received just so you know like i've got nine five star reviews on the arrival pattern alone on my website <laughs> i'm so so proud i'm going to read the review that's left by jane she's put the loveliest blanket and this was on april 26th of this year this blanket is perfect for beginners or those wanting to embrace their inner granny square lover it is so so adorable and the perfect keepsake blanket for new arrivals it's so simple to follow and allows you to use whatever color scheme that will make your heart sing thank you so much jane and I also made this one. This blanket is called Love Struck and I designed this for Teddy when he was a couple of weeks old. I think like maybe even days old. Um, I just had so much love for this tiny little baby and I wanted to make something for him. And so I decided to make this blanket with the heart within the granny squares so I could wrap him up in even more love. Um, I originally made Teddy's version in orange because fun fact for you, if you are new around here, I craved orange like you would not believe when I was pregnant. So he had to have an orange version. I then decided to make a, another version um, for the photo shoot because I wanted it to be on brand and I wanted a version that hadn't really been used um, because Teddy's had seen some heavy usage. I ended up getting both photographed anyway, but there we go. So I made the pink version. And again, it's using double knit yarn. I used a selection of pinks from all different shops um mainly like high street brands local brands so wilkinson's i love wilkinson's pink you will see a lot of that um the pound shop that's where the cream is from um boys b m the range home sense anywhere sainsbury's anywhere that sells double knit yarn I have probably collected the shades that I didn't already have in my stash and I have used loads of different shades within here. Again, it has the signature HDDC border which just brings all of the colours together. It's a really quick blanket to make and so so enjoyable. I have had testers that have made like two or three versions of this already because they've had so many babies to gift them to and it's a really nice summer pattern because you 
make the granny squares and then you can either do them join as you go or continuous join as you go so you could make a mountain of granny squares and then join them as you go later on in the evening when you need something just to give you that little bit of warmth so that is the blanket stack so far for this year 2023 um and then i also made for the same photo shoot an updated version of an updated version of my revival pattern I'm going to put some clips in on screen so you can see me wearing it and whatnot. Normally I wear this for everything that I record. However, it's like 28 degrees and I'm just not feeling double knit sweater. Um, so there's definitely a gap in my wardrobe for some more summer lightweight cotton, maybe granny square patterns, but we shall come to that later. I decided to include a bit of the signature border within the sleeves just to bring it together. It just gives you that little pop of colour. Now, this is the cow neck version. I am actually working on updating this pattern so it will become Revival 2.0 for my next collection. Talk to you about that in a minute, um, which has a crew neck. But this one is the cow neck. Now, I got this one done, no problem. I got most of this done um, the night before and I decided to start on that version of Arrival like 36 hours before the photo shoot. So around, I got that done around being a full-time stay-at-home mum and all of the things I needed to do for the photo shoot. I was up till stupid o'clock in the morning. I didn't end up weaving in all of the ends. I got the majority of them done and then the ones that were left on the back and we hid them when we photographed it. <sighs> I shall forever have the memories of doing that. So as I said, I did my photo shoot in February, ready for my like return to work so to speak um in march 2023 and i decided i was going to release those two patterns and i wanted to get some up-to-date photos of some of my previous patterns um and i just i wanted it to be like a big event and a big welcome back i wanted the hype and i wanted the momentum that that photo shoot was going to bring what I didn't realise is how much I would learn from that photo shoot and how much it would then shape the next steps that I would take within HGDC. So that was definitely like the photo shoot was well worth it in so, so many ways. I came back from that photo shoot absolutely hyped, like above and beyond so excited about life and booked another photo shoot, uh, which I was originally going to do in April 2023. Now, spoiler alert, I ended up postponing that photo shoot until May and then made a decision to postpone it until July. Actually, it's going to be in August, August the 3rd, um, because Teddy has been repeatedly ill. Like, nothing hugely major, just enough that I haven't had the time. It's like a whole... It's a whole fine... It's not even like a balance. My life is a blend it's not even a balance. My life is a blend. I blend crocheting, motherhood and everything all together. And that is what my the way my life is. I don't necessarily have set time to get work done. I get the majority of it done when Teddy is asleep and when he's ill, he doesn't sleep. So then I'm choosing between getting work done or getting rest myself. And there's only so much that you can do before your health is then compromised and I'm not willing to do that anymore. So whilst I was getting ready for the photo shoot, um, I decided that I was going to release an entire collection and my collection is coming in August, Granny Square week. So Granny Square day is August the 15th and I have an entire Granny Square collection coming out then. The first pattern that's going to be included is Revival. I think I could do like an entire video on Revival in itself. So maybe I'll do that, give you all the information. 
Um, I then have also designed another three brand new patterns and decided to finally publish one of my old patterns, like my original OG pattern that I started to make and then I have like shiny, shiny object syndrome where another pattern comes in my mind and I drop what I'm doing, I have to do the new pattern. So the first pattern that I worked on for the second photo shoot for my collection is another blanket and it's called Heartstrings. I'm going to put some photos on screen. I'm not going to stand up because I'm wearing very tiny shorts and I don't want to look naked. Mm. I made this version of heartstrings and there was actually a mishap with it. So something happened to the blanket, which I will share another day, but right now um, I can't for whatever reason, I will share it another day. It basically meant that I needed to remake this blanket and when I realised that, I was truly, truly gutted because I had put quite a lot of work into this, making all of the granny squares, crocheting it all together, um, and then to realise that I was going to need to make another one. And with my photo shoot coming closer and closer, and also Teddy wasn't very well at that point, I just started to realise that there was no way that I was going to have everything ready for my collection. I was truly gutted. And because of the mishap with this blanket and because of some of the issues that I ran into with Revival 2.0, they were the main reasons for postponing the shoot. So I made this entire blanket um, and then decided, didn't decide, knew that I had to make another one. So I made a second sample and you know what? I prefer this one. I love the colour of this one. I love this pink. It is, sorry, I just hit the microphone. I love this pink. This pink is um, Wilkinson's own brand and it's their hot pink that they have and I have used it in so many projects. Um, I have done almost all of it. I just have like a section here that needs the ends weaving in. So maybe at most five rows need weaving in and the heart just needs tidying up. Um, and again, I've used the signature HDDC border on this one as well so that just needs a few ends weaving in and then that one is ready for the photo shoot and on top of that i have also already sent that out to be tested most of the testers are about there with that as well so i'll be able to show you them very soon as well absolutely love 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 that blanket i might even make a third one i mean i'm probably gonna Definitely, I'll be making a third one. Now, I know I said I would show you the finished objects first, and that is like the extent of the finished finish, but I have a few that are so very, very close. So I'm just gonna jump to them, and then I'll show you the whips. This is so very nearly finished. This is gonna be part of the collection. Now, originally, oh, so many things to tell you, so many things. Where shall I start? It is a granny square bag. It is fully crocheted. The lining, everything, it's fully crocheted. And it is nearly finished. It needs um, some of the metal hardware adding on so that I can put the handle onto the bag. Other than that, it's finished. And I've used a double knit acrylic yarn and the outside is granny squares and the inside is, can you see, crochet. Um, originally, I made a much bigger version of a granny square bag. It was more like satchel size 
and I absolutely loved it. Um, however, some of the feedback that I had on it was that the lining on that bag was sewn using a sewing machine and that just put off a lot of people because they want to crochet. And so I played with a load of different ideas. How could I get it so that they wouldn't, people wouldn't need to do any sewing. And this came together. And also I decided to make it smaller and simplify the hardware. So it has a metal clasp. It's magnetic. I've just pulled the plastic off. It's magnetic. And honestly, so excited about it. Now, the bigger version, oh, the bigger version was called Iconic. And so I was going to sm smell, <laughs> not smell. <laughs> I was going to call the smaller version Icon and I'm not sure whether I'm sticking with that or not. Like I might put something on my stories like seeing if people have name ideas. It has to be one word and I like it to encapsulate like the meaning or the inspiration behind the bag. I, I love, love this bag. It's you need it, you need it in your wardrobe basically. And it uses like next to no yarn either. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get questions about how I made it freestanding. I have used this, which is, um, it's like a plastic mesh or a plastic canvas. And it's actually used for um, embroidery or bargello. And I have crocheted around this and that's what forms the reinforced panels which means that this is freestanding and so it makes it look like hella fancy like this could be on a catwalk you know it's designer it's next level you need it in your wardrobe it just gives that little pop of like granny square a little bit of handmade and it makes your outfit unique without it being like a big statement piece you could just slide it into your wardrobe now this one is so very very nearly done sorry sorry this pattern is so very nearly done um i have actually been using a prototype of this um with the lining that i sewed so i made a smaller version but the inside was fabric i think i've stashed it downstairs i might grab it to show you in a bit i've used it for like a couple of years now and I know full well that I wanted to bring that as a finished published pattern. Um, as I said, add the hardware on, take some photos, and then this item is finished. And so I got started on a second sample so that I could take photos for the tutorial so that I could get it tested. And guess what color I used? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I went with the pink. It is the same pink that I used for heartstrings that I have used for quite a few different things. I just love it. Now this one isn't quite um, at this level. You can see that it's. I've got these clips holding it together because I still need to um, finish constructing the bag and weave in the ends, put the hardware on um, but that is paused because I need to take some photos as I'm doing it. And the pattern is like 80% written up. I need to put in the photos that I've taken, proofread it and call for testers on that. And then that is the third pattern for my granny square collection. The collection has a name, but I think I'm going to do like a, a grand reveal of the collection name. Can't give you all the good stuff today. Again, metal clasp, fully crocheted um, for the lining. It's got the joining yarn in there at the moment. I decided to make the second sample in pink just so that you can see the photos a bit better because black is so notoriously difficult to photograph. And I'm not mad about it because now I have two bags to choose from, like for my outfits. <sighs> Though I will admit that I use this bag less 
when I'm with Teddy because I need like a giant rucksack to shove everything in. So guess what pattern's coming later on this year? I'll leave that there. So yeah, what do you think to those? Now, where should I put them? Put that there out of the way. That takes us into the whips of everything that I've made so far this year. Um, I have these bits, which are smaller granny square hearts. So the heart string heart is eight, sorry, is eight by however many squares. And this one is much smaller. And I've been playing around with this because I have another blanket design in mind. And then I kind of like got into a little bit of like analysis paralysis and really second guessing myself like, do we need more heart designs? Yes, yes we do. Will people be bored of them? No, no they won't. And even if they do, does it matter? Because I am really enjoying this. So it got paused because of what my mind was doing. Um, oh, but I've got one and two of those um ready to be made into a blanket slash another design idea that i have again that's using that wilkinson's pink that i am so fond of so i've made those like it's a lot of granny squares at this point <laughs> and i have woven in quite a lot of the ends they're not fully done but i've done a lot so maybe that's another blanket coming um then continuing to play with the hearts, I made the heart even smaller. Oh, wow. Like, how cute is this? It was on my mind, so I decided to just give it a go. I can confirm it's, like, gorgeous. This is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the mini heart, but I made it even more mini by using two round granny squares rather than the three round granny squares. All the granny squares in this block are three rounds and the granny squares on this one are two rounds. It's cute. This is just a sample. I'm probably gonna just weave the ends in and then I think all of these blocks that I'm putting together and playing around with eventually will become a blanket in their own right. I also have quite a few different designs in mind with that. Not for part of this collection, but for future pattern ideas. So that's the dinky heart as well. So cute. Um, and then whilst working on my collection, I've needed granny square, I've needed crochet to work on that's been like a break because as I said my life is a blend so my job is also my passion so it's my jobby my hobby and my job really like that term yeah because my jobby like I love to crochet to relax but then sometimes when it's a pattern that's that I'm about to release it's not so relaxing because like I can't just crack on with this because I need to take the photographs um, so I start Granny Square projects as a break. That's how much I love Granny Squares. One of the break patterns projects I've been working on is I've been making a stack of these. They are black Granny Squares and I'm using a 4.5mm hook, Future Me, 4.5mm and they are one, two, three, four five rounds and I have a blanket idea in mind for that so I've been making a stack of granny squares ready for that blanket when I get to it so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen I've got seventeen and a half squares for that um I have an idea of how many I need for the blanket. So when I just need to crochet 
some, it really helps me process my thoughts. So when I just need a mindless project, I can pick this up. It also is one that's great for like, it's really portable, so it's great for travel, like car crochet, or if I know that I'm just gonna have like maybe 10 minutes, I can just take a ball of yarn and that hook, and then I can just crank them out if I get the time. And then another one that has been a break project has been this. And it's a huge storage cube. <laughs> I have used I have used two strands of this glitter black that you've seen a lot of. Um I've held it double and I've used different colours throughout. Now these granny squares are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 rounds and I have done three rounds and then held the black double and another three rounds held the black double and I've just picked out whatever colours I could get hold of um, and the idea for this is it's going to go on top of my Calex unit because I have stacks of like swatches and things like that that I want to have a home and then I want to have all of my finished um, garments um i'm making quite a few of them and then i'm not going to be wearing them because i'm keeping them fresh for my photo shoots so the idea is that um i will have ready to photograph samples so that each time i'm releasing a new collection i can mix in previous patterns so for example if i'm photo photographing a new blanket i might want to stack it up with blankets that i've already made and take a photograph that way um so these blankets here will not be used they are purely samples for photo shoots and i want um the garments so like the sweaters and whatnot the things that don't stack up as neatly to live in one of these as well as my swatches I made it and then I kind of put it down because I didn't like it but now I've picked it up I like it again it's really floppy but I'm gonna absolutely stuff it with crochet so I'm not that fussed about that don't know if that will ever become a pattern maybe maybe not I have got a collection idea um, for scrap yarn patterns yeah so that's another break project uh, I kind of did myself dirty on that one and didn't weave in a single end and so now I need to go and weave in um, what each square has got what 20 ends and there's five squares so I need to just weave them in finish the edging and then I'm going to put some handles on it because it will then double up as um, like what's the word transportation it'll be a way that I can take my items to the photo shoots with me yeah then more whips i have been playing around with um since i made the heart block it's really drawn me into the world of patchwork and english paper piecing within like the quilting and the sewing world and it's something i really wanted to dive into whilst i was pregnant but it just wasn't an option um, so I decided to explore it with crochet itself and I've made a few different blocks and I don't 100% know what I'm going to do with them. I'm, I'm just playing with them at this point so I'll just show you. Um, I did make this four ply one. Super cute and then I made this one. How cool is that? really really like it not a fan of the black as the border i wasn't but now look at it maybe i am anyway it's like a geometric log cabin maybe i don't know i really like it it doesn't have a name i just played around with it made it absolutely love it um like how amazing would that be as a blanket pattern or a cushion or a wall hanging love 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 so I made that one and then I made this version of it 
without the like three round granny squares just to see if the pattern sorry just to see if the pattern looks crisper and you know what I prefer this one I just love me some traditional granny squares um not sure if I will weave the ends in on that one or just frog it back entirely or I might keep it because it can form a I might end up putting it in with this as part of a blanket and I was also playing along playing around with different shapes so I made this shape um, it's like a star blankets lots and lots of blankets that's what's coming lots of blankets um, another mini heart I've also made I've also made a load of granny squares for another design that I've got in mind um you're not gonna see that one for a little while but there's just so many granny squares that are going on and then I've also been working on this one this is the granddad waistcoat by realm designs um i applied to be a tester i've been a pretty poor tester because i got to a certain point then the deadline like lapsed and i haven't picked it back up i was thinking of not continuing with it because i wasn't sure if i liked the colors and then whilst i was rushing around today thinking why don't i have a summer granny square top i was thinking maybe uh keep hitting the microphone I've got to like count up how many times I've done that now sorry I was thinking maybe I will continue it um maybe I'll put little capped sleeves on maybe I'll just make it into a waistcoat like it's supposed to be it's so very nearly done so it'd be a shame not to finish it and then I've got an idea for another one that I want to make so I put a picture of that on screen um, and I talked a bit more about that entire pattern in my I Heart Granny Square um, edit that I did. So I will link that below for you. So that's all of the crochet that I've made so far in 2023 that I am willing to share with you. There's been a few more items, but they're not, uh, they're not, in a position to be shared at the moment so it's basically been granny squares a whole heap and pile of granny squares and then i've also been working on a few other things not crochet technically not crochet but they are so heavily crochet related that i'm going to share them with you um i made this it's my pattern planner i made and designed this like this time last year i was heavily heavily pregnant with teddy and wanted a way that I could track all of my patterns and where they were within the design process. Um, so this has got space within it for six patterns and it's got like a, a how to use this planner in the front and it goes all the way from design idea all the way through to the release of the pattern. Um, and it's there as like a checklist almost. So you have got like design ideas so i've got a few of these pages in the front so for all the different design ideas you've got and then like um a page where you can make mood boards as well because we are creatives and we are visual um and then you go to the first it says my design number one inspirational quotes throughout shift from thinking i'm not ready to do that to thinking i want to do that and i'll learn by doing it who i needed to hear that can i share this pattern with you yeah this is 
the remake of Icon and I was playing with different ways of doing things so I won't show it too close because things have changed. I have more design ideas from what is on there um, but it's got my design, you have an outline, a sketch, notes, um, a vision board or a mood board. It's got spaces for swatch details, grading information, instructions, next steps. Oh my gosh, it's all in here and I have I don't know about you, but when I am working on a pattern or a project, it doesn't have to be one of my own patterns, there's always something I need to write down to remember. And I might like create a note in my phone or I might get a post-it note, random scraps or whatever. This replaces that. So everything that I needed to put, I've written down in there. Um, there's space that if you need a chart, you can chart things. And then there's the write-up checklist. So the pattern name, have you included the inspiration? Have you got the tutorials, um, grading information, tech editor information, and everything about the testing and the group chat, everything, everything that I need is all in there. I created that this time last year, but I'm heavily using it this year, obviously, because of my collection. And I also created this year, my second planner it's called my bestest year yet i designed this for me because there is so much in my head all the time as a mama as a wife as a wife as a mama as a homemaker as a business owner as a creative that is so much in my head i needed to get it all down so you've got vision board you've got statement for the year and then I have got goals and there are more vision boards that I've added in here. You can truly make it your own. Um, and I want to show you what makes it so unique. You find a blank page. There's pages for your content. So you can plan your content. There are blank boxes called stuff to remember. And then there's month reviews and so much good stuff. Let me show you this. It's undated so that if you miss a week, you can just either use it or like you don't get that guilt for I've not used the entirety of May because my baby was ill. You can use those pages um, the following year or you can just do what I've done and stuck things over it so I can use those pages for other things. So on this one, I've created my June content plan and I've got, I've stuck in pages and then I've written loads of ideas on the back and all my ideas are in one place. And then this is what makes it amazing. I've got a column for my business, a column for home and a column for life. So business is obviously HTDC, home is anything to do with Teddy, um, Brad, any chores I need to get done, anything for the house that I need to remember, and life is anything in between. So, dentist appointment, doctor's appointment, um, you know, any of those sort of things. Amazing, absolute game changer. So I've made that, and then I've also got a few other, like, organisation products that I've created and basically all of this then means that I get more crochet time and isn't that the goal and I stuck in this picture of me and Teddy boy the additional organization means that I'm just so much more efficient with my time it means that I'm not forgetting to do anything it means I don't have that and when you lie in bed and you think oh my goodness I did not do x y and z like there's no guilt guilt there's no shame there is no like must remember this and your brain just being filled up with a to-do list it's all here i'm actually getting a group of testers to go through this planner use it for a few months and then once it's been like beta tested then i'll be opening it for pre-order and i might do the same with my pattern planner I'm not going to have too many tests going on at once because I want to be able to give my time to each test group. So yeah, that's everything that I have crocheted in 2023. 
that I'm going to show you right now. Huh? Wow. I've done a lot. I've done a lot. Before I go, I'm going to read out the comment of the week to you as well. So this is from, um, I think it's Celeste. I'm going to put your tag on the screen. And you put, I've purchased your revival pattern as my daughter would love it. Are you wearing a version in white? Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes. It would have been this version that you saw. Now the pattern is available and once the um, 2.0 version comes out, you will receive that for free. So there's nothing wrong with this pattern other than I've learned a lot since I put it out two, three years ago and I wanted to make some changes. So you can make this version completely rock it and then when the next version comes out, make another one. And let's be honest, you will have so many different colour scheme ideas that you may as well make a hundred different versions of it. So thank you so, so much for leaving your comment. I can't wait to see the version that you make for your daughter. I'm going to end this vlog there because it is longer than I intended. But hey, I've crocheted quite a bit, so you know. Um, so I can get this edited and uploaded for you. My new upload schedule is every fortnight and I'm aiming for the Saturday. So please, please, please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so that you can see my next videos that are coming out. Um, and hello to all of the new subscribers that I've received recently. Hi, and a, a huge hello and welcome back to all of my existing subscribers. I am fast on the way to 5,000 of you. 5,000 Granny Square lovers, Team Granny Square. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please comment below with like your favorite item that I've shown you. I'd love to hear what you've been working on so far this year and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Boom, mic drop. Whew. And now I'm really warm and I'm absolutely starving. So